Okay, YouTube, this is what I got going on. I purchased some steps online uh, through OfferUp for an XD. So the guy told me they were for a regular Titan, which I have a 2019 Texas edition uh, crew cab, but they're not, it's not XD. So what's the difference? The XD is 101 inches long, which is too long in the back. But if you notice, this one is shorter. I cut them down. So I'll show you the few tricks to getting it cut down to where you don't have the issues. Um, what I actually did, first and foremost, I took a bunch of pieces off. Um, the first couple things I took off was the Titan emblem. The bottom part that goes under the emblem, uh, which I can show you over there. The black piece. The top Titan emblem. The step and the end cap. So this is the only way you can really get it cut off. You don't cut the front part of the step, you cut the back half because that's the extended part. So if you notice, this part is the front part right here. And the difference in the back part is a good bit. So what I did was I cut back 13 and a half inches. Make sure you measure it. Make sure you do your part. If you're not mechanically inclined, don't try to do it. Just go by the right steps. Reason being, I already purchased these. I spent $400 online. Um, or I could have went to the dealer and got brand new ones to fit my truck. But they're $500 per step. Um, so, my opinion, $400 versus 1000 plus tax. Um, I, I would rather do this and do it myself. But I didn't realize it was XD. So, the quick way, the easy way to do it, um, this is on the front part. What you'll do is you can grab the bottom of it. You'll pull it out, and it'll pull these two little deals out the hole. Basically, it will be like this. You're going to pull that bottom part out the top part will not come out until you pry this off this is on by clips in these tracks so this is like that let's see pretty much like that um you'll get a flathead screwdriver you'll come up underneath lightly pry up um try to pry closer to the clips and it'll allow them to pop out this will line up with that center hole so I kind of give you an idea of what you have to do after. Um, after that comes off, this channel right here, which is right here. Sorry, I'm trying to record and hold the phone at the same time. Um, it clicks in here. So that's going to hold on. So you can't take this off until you get the, the part done, which is on the other side. Um, so after that, after you get these two parts off, those are your two first ones. Um, you can see the part that I cut off the other one which was the frame after i did that you have this and this is a the, the part that takes a little bit more time besides the cutting it's actually clipped into the rails so i took a long skinny flathead screwdriver and i went down the second channel came and then i started prying to the sides on each side once i got into behind that clip and i kind of give you a trick about it if you notice the clip, how it's bent in now, right here. What it was, they're not bent in normally. So when you come in that channel, you get beside it and I'm twisting and going like this and it's bending it in. I go to the same side, go like that. And then I just kind of pull it up and it pops up. You gotta do it to every one of these. It's not a whole lot, man, this one took me, the first one took me about 40 minutes. This one probably took me about 10 minutes because I had my routine down. So once I get that off, then I come down here. You got two star screws right here that are bolted in to hold the end cap. Man, and when I did all this, I was just hoping that I could get these end caps off without damaging them, um, which is real simple once you get the top step off, but you got to go in this order. First, I thought I could pry this off, but I'm like, man, let me take the parts off that I know will come off and then, then it'd be good. Once that slides right out, you got your complete end cap exposed. That will be the part you cut. Um, one of the last pieces that I took off to make it 
you know, where it don't get damaged is this front chrome piece. I just came, go like that. You pop the top part off, then you fold it down, and then it slides right out. So give me a little bit, and I'll, I'll walk you through it, and I'll show you the next part as I'm putting it together. All right, you two, I'm back. So now what I did, man, I don't, I don't cut perfect. So as you can see how I cut it, I already clipped this back on. This part goes on first, then this is second. As you come down, you can see where I marked it. Just kind of cut it with a little saw. Um, this part, it has that part right there in the middle. It's gonna line up with this hole. Now, one of the tricks I noticed as I'm doing that, it kind of clicks in. But if you notice, in there, you see that little part that sticks down. This part has a two, but the difference is that has a little groove and this doesn't. So what I plan on doing, I normally just get some tin snips or some kind of scissors and just notch it out right here. Just enough to do like that to where that part can go down in there. Then that will click on and then the black plastic part well, actually, it needs to go on first. I'm sorry. Slides down in there. Slides down in like that. Hold on one sec. Once you latch it on, you're going to bring it around. And then it'll these little deals gonna go in these holes so there's two of them I can't do it with my hands occupied so once I do that then you'll put this piece on there this snaps on then you're done you can cut that extra support that they put on the bottom I normally cut that to make it just where it was and then I bolt it all back together just a couple screws right here these screw will actually go to the brackets then you're all completed like that Thank you. Any questions, let me know. Subscribe. Um, if you got any ideas you want me to see, you want to see me do, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.